Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again where in the previous episode we made the Austin or as I think we should call it the awesome because it is just that. It managed to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight areas, most of it being just townships and I think almost all of them apart from a couple we took by not even firing a shot. They just give up and admittedly I don't think that's their fault. They were just one defensive structure and um... Well, the Austin's about eight grand's worth of flamethrower, so <laughs> I don't really blame them for that. But when we did come up against something that we had to fight, it worked quite well. We still don't know what its weakness is. It might get hit in an area and just completely detonate and get Death Starred, but we don't really know if it has Death Star Syndrome or not. In this episode, we're going to be making some more progress. So we have repaired the Austin, and we are now going to fight the brigands. Uh, you can see they are... Uh, moving around here and it looks like they are going over to Kranzberg to try and take it So I'll put that there and you can see they've now backed up and I'm also going to attack Umbridge because I can so this is against the brigands who have uh, a tank and a defensive structure so we'll put that down there and then we'll start the fight and immediately you can see that the tank is backing up because well why wouldn't it however it is made of wood and um, it's not gonna last long in fact we have just for whatever reason rammed into it even though I didn't order a ram but I think it's just because it's so so blooming heavy that <laughs> there's a lot of uh, inertia there so we'll go forward and it's going to probably take care of the wooden structure in a efficient manner Wow, there's nothing, there's not. <laughs> there's just a greasy smell left. Wow, okay. We got 800 for that. Almost not worth the effort. Right, let's finish off red. So this is, oh, this is a fight here against, against um, three white scales. But I'm not even going to bother ordering my ships because quite frankly, I know he's going to give up. Uh, gentle take over there. And where's he going to attack now? Oh, he's going to go down there. Fair enough. Um, But I'm going to... Oh, we've got flat cannon now. I'm going to go for... I just went for the flak there. I'm going to go for the, the, their main main city. Um, I want to go for aerial torpedoes. And this should prove, hopefully, as a, a nice test. So this is a assault against... Oh, a tree, apparently. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Anything made of wood, it doesn't like. It just keeps us, just keeps attacking wood. The wood. Um, here's the problem. It's lost one of its flamethrowers. So we have seen that there is a chink in the armor there, and there is fire in the back in the coal store. However, it has been put out now. Right, we're going to start moving forward. Anything above four foot in height, we will destroy, and they've given up again. Yeah, so a gentle takeover. And that is now finished red off completely. Yeah, they've got nothing left. Completely destroyed. So, that is something that I quite honestly didn't expect. I thought red was the up and coming, but it looks like this guy managed to hold his own, which is alright. I think the combination of... I left three scales alone so they pushed up this way which is what we discussed might happen um, green attacked here and then there's a couple of outliers that were just a bit of a thorn on his side and all of that you know getting assault on f four sides you know just doesn't entirely work does it historically as well so that's what happened there um, what I'm gonna do is move these Denvers forward and I think we'll put them in there I always try to put them the, in these areas here in case stuff breaks away. Just going to check on the outside that we've got. Uh, Denver's there, Denver's there. So we've got around here, we've got Denver's ready to pounce. If they decide to move, we've always got the Denver's hanging around. I've got the dragons back here, which is something I really do need to deal with. Um, I wouldn't mind a couple more Denver's elsewhere, but I don't think we really... I don't think we really need them, to be honest with you. How many have we got here? We've got... Oh, we've got loads. I'm going to go one, two. Say so move to there. And then the two remaining Denvers, I'm going to move over to there. And put those back to there. Then we've got Denvers there. Yeah, we've got enough. We've got enough. So the Austin, we're going to bring back to a shipyard in Drassil because it's fast enough to... Actually, no. We'll put it down to Gearbridge because it's almost taken anyway. And then we will... Where are they going to assault? Going to assault there, are they? Uh, yes, they are. You know what they're, you know they're going to do? They're going to get boarded. Can I intercept with it? Oh, I can. I don't even know what they've got. 
but I'm going to send the Austin to assault them. Oh, now this is going to be a fight. So, they have that, um, the Adamant, and they've got these, um, oh, they're not the retrofitted ones. So the Adamant, we've seen this before, it's very slow and it's not entirely well armed, but the arm is not too bad. And the most important thing is, it looks cool, doesn't it? They've even got the water line as well, which is, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've also got these fast little things, which have two cannon on the front. Oh, that might be, no, that might be miniguns, actually. And the previous versions we've seen, I've got these extra armaments on the top and bottom, like little pods. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to start the fight and immediately move forward to there, because I want to get away from the suspending rock. I also want to get just generally closer. Um, I'm going to move this downwards and see if we can start just taking care of these. Obviously, that thing is quite slow and it doesn't have any gun depression. So I'm uh, moving down. And there's that gone. And we are just going to start moving forward and taking this out. This is the advantage of having a high service ceiling. This thing can, instead of just being pigeonholed into only being able to take out structures on the ground, this is allowing us to quite happily wreck anything in the air. You see it's actually spinning around there because it's got no, <laughs> it's got no armament left on the front. It's actually going to put its uh, rear gun in there. Well, that's fine. Um, one of the things we have seen now is that it's out of ammo. Or oh, actually, it's it's used. Whoa! It's used seven. <laughs> it's used a couple of hundred ammo almost. But I mean, quite frankly, I don't know if it's going to put a focus and firefight in there because I really needed to. So I don't know if we can we'll put on aim fire. Look at that, 36 ammo remaining. I don't know if we can win the fight with the ammo we've got left. I'm assuming we can. I think once we spin around, this thing is just going to fall out of the sky. Yeah, yeah, I think that, that that's exactly what happened. So we know that this hasn't got any great longevity. But to be fair, it's just taken out about six vessels, five or six vessels. So... Do I really care that it's out of ammo? Not really, because we've won. At least we should do. Victory. There we go. And we'll move back over to there. So I stopped their little assault. Although, they are moving again. They've got some nerve, haven't they? They really have got some bottle. We could intercept with this fleet. Oh, good luck to them. <laughs> yeah, obviously the miniguns are taking out all of those. But it's not going to have much miniguns any longer. Oh, yeah, where's your miniguns gone? <laughs> right. Let's just get these moving. I'm not even worried about ordering these properly or repositioning them, quite frankly. Looks like we've just taken out our own suspendium chamber. Oh, that means we've just lost the, the Leroy. That's a crying shame. Poor Leroy. So... That's probably the last of his forces, I think. I don't think there's anything left. But we did... Oh, the, the Leroy sadly is a mobile. Uh, we'll move over to there. So we've lost that. Um, this is getting repaired. We'll repair the Austin. And we just need to check. Do I think the Austin can take out these... These dragons? <laughs> Do I really want to try it? I have no idea. Um, I think what we'll do is use the Austin to attack down the bottom. And our main fleet here. Quite frankly, we could go and just destroy him. I don't think there's any great uh, misunderstanding there. I don't think there's going to be much that'll be able to stop us. But let's see what they've got. Oh, they've got some buildings there. 
some there, yeah. Worst thing is these are all stuff that the Leroy could take out. <laughs> I'm seeing a big, uh, a similar pattern though. All cannon. All cannon and no rifles or miniguns. So. How about design land ship? And we make a carrier. A big carrier. Is this a sensible idea? I'm not too convinced it is. So what were the Grand Keel? Um, increases ship HP by 4,500. It's also really heavy. <laughs> 4,500. Let's try and design it without that, because it shouldn't actually be that big. So, this is going to be a carrier. Um, so, really, the, the length of it is the main thing. So, let's go for basically just a flat bed, like this. And we'll have, on top of it... Slightly reduced structural integrity to a large size. So yes, I don't think that size is... Yeah, this is probably going to be the, the way forward. So what we'll do is we'll have this so it's fairly flat and thin. That's the idea. And... That's going to be the overall height of it. Doesn't need much coal because it's not going to move anywhere. Repair bays we will put in. Like so. We'll also put in some, probably, sick bears, why not, and quarters, one, two, three, four, alright, in terms of bridge, we're going to put, probably near the front, Oh, that doesn't really matter. Now we'll put it in the middle, like that. Obviously, it doesn't have access to. I can't. Um, can't do anything with it yet, but that'll be there. So, in terms of weapons, do we really want weapons on it? I mean, we could. We could have some rifles on the front or something. We've got lots. So we've got dorsal cannons and stuff, but we can't have that. A Gatling gun might be a good choice because anything that. Anything that gets close will just Gatling gun out of the way. But quite frankly, I'm really not too bothered about putting almost anything on it. I'm thinking just a rifle. Honestly. Just put a rifle on it. Um, a heavy turret. <laughs> well, actually, actually, that's not a terrible plan. Heavy turret. That's not a terrible plan. Like that. Because we still should be able to put these on. Yeah, like that. <sighs> oh, that's happening. Right, okay. Slightly reduced structural integrity. It's going to have that regardless of what we do, okay? So let's just accept the fact that it's going to have that. In terms of berth, it has not enough crew yet. There's the crew. It's all connected. Need supply hatches, yes I'm aware, but let's put that there. So there's all that connected up. We will have to put our aircraft on first, so we're going to have bombers. And... You can see that can connect to there, like that. And I think we will. question is, do I just want four bombers, or do I want some triplanes? Or biplanes, actually. I think I want some biplanes. So, bombers back there. Biplanes will go at the front. One, two. Bombers, one, two, three. 
I would really, really appreciate another one of those at the back. <laughs> it would just look so cool. Hang on. If we remove these. Right, and then the bombers. Does the bomber fit in? Three, four, it does. Right, we're gonna it's gonna be that long because quite frankly. Um Our vessel, our rules, right? <laughs> so we'll have it that long. Um We need to get rid of some of these because we just don't need them. And we need repair. Let's have repair. Each section should have repair and sick bay, I think. So it doesn't really matter where you place it too much, I don't think. All all sections should be the same, actually, shouldn't they? They're just the same rough. Yeah, the modules are actually the same. So let's do, let's design the one. Which I originally did and then work forward from that. So we'll have coal like that. Then we'll have repair bay. And then just above it we'll have the sick bay. And then we'll have uh, do we have enough water? I think we do. Um, we'll connect it up in a moment. No crew, so that's a problem. We want to go for command and crew, quarters. Crew can go on the right. One, two, three. That one can't. It's slightly different. So 36, 50. So we'll just put them like that. And that's 72 or 50. More than enough. In the... Roughly near the front section, we're going to have a bridge... And next to that, we'll have a guard barracks, like so. We're going to have the same at the back, with another bridge, well, two bridges, just in case, you know, we lose one. And, quite honestly, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much else to put on it, apart from a couple of uh, connectors. So, we'll have... don't need berths. We, oh, actually, once we connect this up, we might need them, but let's just see how we get on. So, it'll just be in structural, current over ladder, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and then, actually I thought that connected up. It does connect up. Oh, it's because it's not connected up. There. Alright. So we have all of the connections. Needs more supply hatches, which we will... Do we strategically just put them on the back? So have those two there. I'll put that further forward, actually. Like that. To be, honest, to be fair, they can board that way anyway. It's not... Not as if they can't. And they can't have a walkway that way. It's not too much of a problem. Would be nice to have a walkway near there, though. We might alter that bit. That's about equal. And then, look at that. So we've got access all the way along this thing. Not equally, but it's about right. Um, stained glass window. <laughs> we could put stained glass windows in. Anyway, um, that actually doesn't do anything, so we're getting rid of that. Uh, I think I'll be fine, actually. We don't need all the connectors, because once they're gone, they're, once they're moving, then it's okay. It's probably going to split in half anyway, so I'm not worried too much about that. So, that's all in there. We then need um, supply hatch. What do we need supply? 51. Ooh. Uh, so, we're going to need... The large one, the steel cargo door, which is... Oh, that's 40 supply. Like that. And... Two supply hatches, which... That'll do. Like 
Don't want that. Hmm. I mean, it matters not because you can get access at the back there anyway. Right, so armor. Fill it with steel wall. What could do steel armor? It's a lot heavier. Go with steel armor because. Whoa, look at the speed of it! What? <laughs> it's faster than most airships. Faster than all the airships. And I don't I thought we had access there. I thought it allows you to move between that, you know. Uh it does say there is technically the see the line gets drawn there, but then it stops it, so I don't know if you can actually go that way, so I, I instead will do this then. We don't want to risk that. So there's that. Um the question is now, do we that looks a bit more balanced. Do we fill this up? Or do we leave it as is? I'm of the opinion that that's not too bad. Right, uh, we will f paint it, obviously. So, decoration. Or rather, paint. Uh, fill it red. And then... You know what? I don't like that there. Get rid of them. And put it in a separate area. All on its own. Like that, maybe. And then... Pump over there, connects it up like that. That. Put a guard barracks there. And then what we'll do... Troops. Guard post. There you go, so that's the only way, and then you have to come along through guard barracks, and then down and round, and if you want to take it over, you have to take that. Um, and I'm still going to keep two bridges, I think. So, we have that in, uh, we will paint it, and obviously we have to have our colour scheme here. Uh, let me fill it up back to that colour. And, yeah, I quite like that. So the colours will be... Um, do I want to just stripe it? Yeah, of interest, what does that look like? It might look better if we do it the other way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. Decoration, we're not going to get a coat of arms on it. Oh no, we will get a coat of arms on it. But where do you want a coat of arms on it? Roundel. <laughs> See, very tempted to put that on. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> we can't not, right? Um, and a, a, a nameplate. So what... do we, we need a name for it. Um, we'll call it the Paris. Okay, so we'll save the design. This is the Paris. And we'll build it. I don't know why we're building it. <laughs> it looks insane. There's aerial torpedoes now researched. I'm going to... Reduce our store... Uh, uh, no, we're going to say extra ammo storage. And the reason for that is... We have... I might as well recall them, them spies. Actually, I just wanted to see what was there. We had... really have them there. Yes, where was I? So, oh, I've got giant bees now. Come on. Yeah, I was going to go for the extra, the, the, the storage flammability, the minus 75% ammo storage flammability, but we've designed all of our vessels with that in mind anyway, and we've got a lot of water, and quite frankly, we've got the, we've got the Austin that doesn't always set on fire, um, but it, it, it often gets towards running out of ammo, at least we've, uh, a couple of times we've seen it. So, yeah, that's why we're doing that. I'm going to go up to, um, go for these. 
Because I want to get cannons no longer explode. So that's getting built, and they are reconvening here. I don't even just spend some money to destroy that. Whoopsie. <laughs> um, we've still got the vessels all the way around there. I mean, I'm going to send our Austin to try and defeat the dragons. I think it would be an interesting thing. So they are attacking again Umbridge. We have enough to intercept them, which I will. I'm going to intercept them over the channel. Oh, this is the um. <laughs> what? Uh, when did the Kraken turn up? Oh, do you know what it'll have done? It'll have spawned in the location where the Denvers are. Well, the Denvers always put up a fight. And we've got Grape Shot as well. Do you know what we also have? We also have the ability to move out of the way of it. Remember, it's going to be attacking with its, with its tentacles. Ugh! The eyes very. I don't, ugh, the eyes a bit iffy. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. <laughs> right. Bye. I'm off. I've got grape shot cannons. You don't. And whoop, whoop, run away. <laughs> and we'll flip round. There we go. So we're on aimed fire now. Oh, it's coming at me backwards. I don't think we'll be able to defeat this. But then again, I have no frame of reference. There's no reason why... Maybe necessarily I couldn't. I mean, because I, I don't know how, how, how damaging it is. Uh -oh, what I do know is it's just... Whacked into the ships there and it took something out. See, I mean, this thing could take loads and loads and loads of damage, and we just don't know. We just don't know what it takes. Oh, hang on, did that get bigger? Is that swelling up? Giant Kraken. <laughs> so we're just going to keep doing uh, this, where we move forward and back, and go. Oh, oh god, it does actually do damage, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. Oh no, is it actually eating crew? I think it might be. Either way, we're probably going to run out of ammo. Seven out of uh, seven out of twenty-four ammo. It's not built for that. I mean, I can click board. Yeah, look, there's no place to board. We knew that anyway, but <laughs> it'd be interesting if it just said board and jumped on top of it and started hacking it with hatchets and such. That'd be interesting if they start hacking at it. I like the animation on them tentacles there. I think it would have been a bit of a bit of a cop out if it was just squares, you know, <laughs> moving around. Whereas it did actually it does actually look uh, very organic there. Look at that, it's grabbed a crew member. Right, we're gonna flee because we're not gonna be able to defeat that. So where are these? Oh, they're there, are they? Sky Kraken. Neither turtle doves, okay. Um, so this is our interception. Now, by rights, this should happen over the water. But water isn't in. Yet. That's not clickbait either. He uh, said on, I believe, one of the for, uh, one of the uh, posts. Saying that working on a, a C DLC. So, probably a paid for DLC. Where it adds C and ships and... Um, all the beasts associated with it and uh, proper buoyancy and stuff like that. So. Well, there's um, a fairly easy win. There we go. And there's pretty much nothing left. And we'll just uh, run back to... Hmm, his territory. <laughs> so we're not really running for it, we're assaulting it. So we'll go for that one there. So we've got Sky Kraken to deal with. So we'll have to see what that's like. Do a gentle take over there. Um, and I'm going to move back to there. Because quite frankly that, just, that could break. Yeah, devouring everything in its path. So do I want to send... What do I want to send after the Sky Kraken? 
Um, obviously, we've got all the Denvers around the outside there. We've got our main force around here. We've also got giant bees there as well, which that's a Barry problem. So build ship. Barry. Four. Go. It is a Barry problem, certainly. So, how is our... Oh, the Paris is almost built, which is good. So we're going to be attacking the dragons with flame. Now, I assume, perhaps wrongly, that they are not immune to it. But let's just start. And uh, let's see who's got the most flame. Currently, I have flame. Um, and they also have flame. And they also have the height advantage. And they also have the speed advantage as well. Light is making it hard to aim. Oh, shots fired from left to right, probably. Yeah, the problem is that they can just quickly spin around. Need to focus fire. Literally fire. <gasps> <laughs> well then. Dragons, their own worst enemy. I don't know if you saw what happened there. But I was happily just attacking the dragon there. And then the other one zipped overhead and rammed into it, destroying it. Um, we now have dragon hide armor. We now have dragon hide armor. <laughs> um. Ooh. Right. Okay. Um. In that case, then. Refit, armor, dragon hide. Let's see what it's like. 60 HP, weight zero, blast 15, absorbs 15 blast damage and absorbs five piercing. <gasps> Refit. <laughs> Excellent. I did it at the tiny ship. Yeah, that's going to take forever. Um, also, we should really go for... Um, cannons no longer explode. Okay, so here's the Paris. We are going to say, move to there. Hang on, Paris, move to there. Good. And then move to there. And then move to there. Oh, to attack the giant bees, maybe not. Um, there. Where are these going, anyway? Oh, they're meeting up down there. So, gear bridge has lost something. I don't really care too much. Look at the speed of the Paris. It's fantastic. And invade. I don't know what's here, but I'm going to send it to invade. So, this is our vessel, which quite frankly wants to sit on trees, but it's so heavy that it's so... Um, it's so long that it's always going to have something like that. And we are fighting against... Oh, look at that little thing. Well, we'll start the fight and... There's the Paris. Okay, that, that seemed to work. Um, crush. I like the Paris. So far, we don't know if it's useful at all, but I like it. Um, Barry's are getting built there. I will... Where are they salting, by the way? Oh, there are they. Well, I'll probably intervene in a moment. Uh, one, two, three, four... Five, move to there, which won't actually move those, but one, two, three, four, five. Those can intercept, and those can just go over there to take that out. <laughs> it's a crunch. There's the planes taking off. Again, something that. Oh, they have got miniguns on it now. But we have, as you can see, bombers. So they go right up high level, and there goes the bombs. Those seem to have gotten... I think there's, those have been changed. Originally, the bombers, at least from what I can recall, they used to, for some reason, like to get really close to the target. But now, they're happily doing some bombing from up there. And more accurate, because we're not in the, in, in the fog. Units inside the banks are hard to hit. Oh, inside the banks are hard to hit. Oh, so it's, even, it's actually worse. But it's not really working out for those. Look how fast the biplanes are as well. Actually, they're triplanes, aren't they? Triplanes, yes. There's a victory. 
Gentle takeover. Okay, I really like the Paris. And we've got that cannon on the front as well. So, this isn't all a terrible idea, this Paris thing. But, um, I think we are going to leave it there. Uh, next episode, we will do this assault here, or this interception. And then we'll finish it off, basically. And we'll just sort of sweep in. So, we'll be able to try our Dragonhide ship, which I might cancel the refit and move it over to Unsee, which is a medium shipyard, so it'll actually take a reasonable amount of time, and then we'll go with the Sky Kraken. But basically, that's the rough plan. We've got the Barries there, we're building some more. Take out the giant bees, and then we'll make our way inside. So, yeah, there we go. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.